hello my friends and welcome back to another video thank you so much for stopping by my friends i hope you are having a great day uh for today's breakfast we are having french toast and some sausage and some cantaloupe my friends it's been a minute since we've had some french toast so i had everything for it so um we are getting the uh, breakfast going for hubby and i um, let me know my friends what you guys had for breakfast today um, let me know how the weather is because here in california it's currently as i'm voiceovering this video it is warm i'm so ready for spring let me know who else is ready for spring um oh my goodness i can't wait um i'm over winter um i just want spring here my friends <laughs> so yeah my friends um thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate you my friends if you are here for the very first time welcome my name is esmeralda i hope you consider subscribing liking this video my friends and i hope you guys enjoy this video vlog i got lots of inspiration cooking um, motivation for you all so enjoy my friends <music> done with breakfast my friends now we are making hubby's uh food for his work what he's going to be taking for lunch ground beef with pico de gallo al estilo mexicano just like this i'll be making some burritos for him for him to take to work today Let me know what you guys pack for your guys' uh, hubby's work for his lunch, my friends. I'll be draining the oil off out of this. And there we go, my friends. Very quick, fast, and simple. When you're on a time crunch. And there you go, my friends, all packed up, for, ready to go. He'll be having some melon, melon, his burritos, a banana, a soda, co a Coca-Cola soft drink, and a cookie, my friends. That is what my hubby is having for lunch today. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I hope you're enjoying this content so far, my friends. If you are here for the very first time, please don't... um forget to like and subscribe if you are interested in this kind of content my friends the kids want to stop at Ross for a bit and see what they have my friends they had the most adorable cute spring easter decoration oh my goodness um so i don't really decorate for easter um or spring in occasions i have in the past i just like to get little things like you know little pops of color of uh in the spring here and there but i really don't go all out for uh spring or easter decorations the only holidays i really love to decorate is east it's uh for fall and um for christmas my friends pretty much that is all um that the holidays i decorate for but let me know if you guys decorate my friends 
Uh, they had so many cute decorations, adorable things. Um, check out Ross um, to see uh, what they might be have on the floors, on stock, because they do carry a lot of goodies like you see here. And also for a steel deal, my friends. So my friends, we are back home. Um, I just fed Jax over here his new food. This one here. And I don't know, Ari served him. And he's not really liking this new food. So I'm going to give him... I'm pretty sure he'll eat it because last time I changed his food a different brand and he was doing the same thing. And he eventually gave in and ate. <laughs> Maybe because he was hungry and stuff. Right, Jax? This is your new food, honey. Look. Well, we're going to see, my friends. I'll, I'll keep you uh, updated on that. Okay, okay, my friends. Back to this. I want to show you this um, small little haul that I bought at, uh, at Ross. Um, I bought this syrup for when i do my ice cold coffees because lately i've been going to get some at um mcdonald's but i want to go ahead and start making them at home because um it's just more convenient and um, um i ended up buying this thing here for a uh, utensil holder and it's perfect the size for my little space that i have over on my counter space and I ended up picking up this cute coffee mug. This one was $3.99. And this here was uh, $7.99. And this one was... Oh. Here we go. $4.99. That is my little haul. And this was from my Walmart. And my friends, um, I picked up these chili powder packets. I'm going to be making some chili beans. These two are for my chili beans for dinner tonight. I bought me these filters because of um, I'm going to be having this kind of coffee. This one here, my son Jonathan picked this up for us. Bless his heart. Um, because I don't no longer have my uh, Curex. I ended up donating them. Um, well... I did pick up a red one at a flea market, I believe, or garage sale. I don't remember. It's been a while, and I posted it here, and I shared it. It had cost me $5, but it didn't work. I mean, it would drip hot water, but when I would push the cups for my coffee, it would and it would stop. It would stop, but then it would continually pour out water. So I just ended, ended up um, throwing it away because it really didn't work. So, um, I picked this one up yesterday at my local thrift store, and I'm excited because this is like new, and, um, I ran it yesterday, and it did great, and, um, so I'm happy I'm going to be using these, and I'm also going to be able to have, like, my old, my, um, prepare my ice-cold coffee a night before so I can have them in the morning. So I'm excited for my little station here that I'm going to be adding to our kitchen. And my friends, I think I'm going also to also be saving some money using this kind of coffee instead of my uh, Keurig. Because Keurig pods are on the pricier side. So um, we're going to test this out and see how this does. And look at my friends, I already put it in here with my utensils i think it looks perfect there let me know my friends how you guys like that there okay my friends i just sitting down here i'm gonna be taking off these uh hojitas these little leaves from the milpero because i don't want it to go bad and i got some other ones over here we're gonna meet, be making some new uh salsa so we're gonna get this done so we can have some fresh salsa for the week. Alrighty, my friends. Ya les quité la cáscara. I washed them already. And we're going to uh, be roasting these. I just love to roast my um, my tomatillo and my serranos. Just depending on what mood. Because sometimes también los 
I put I boil them as well but today's um, we are going to um, roast them so my friends I'm already estrenando I'm already breaking in the new coffee cup look at how pretty it looks my friends oh my goodness I didn't know that Ross carried beautiful coffee mugs usually when I go there you don't have a lot on stock but today luckily they had lots of beautiful things on stock maybe they had put uh things out onto the floor so um we got blessed today and my coffee mug is so cute it feels right in my in my palm it fits perfectly and then i tried this i've never tried it like i mentioned or i don't know if i have mentioned it but oh it's so yummy i see why people buy these now <laughs> It's a special treat and I'm thankful and grateful that I was able to try it today. Because sometimes um, we can be, uh, no, I'm going to speak for me, like uh, sometimes I get things and then I, I'm indecisive. I'm like, should I get it or not? But this time I'm thankful I, I got it because I liked it so very much. Let me know if you guys buy these things and which is your guys' favorite, my friends. I like vanilla, like I like a lot French vanilla iced coffee. So, um, let me know that I've been missing out, huh, friends? <laughs> yeah. And I'm taking a little break, enjoying my coffee. Because in a bit, I need to go out and pick up my youngest son, Nathaniel, from work. I'm going to be using some foil paper for easier cleanup. Just like this. I'm also going to be adding chile de árbol in the pan. But first I'm going to let this cook roast. And then I'll throw in the chile de árbol. Some more onion. And then we're, we're going to add some garlic. Once I get the peel off of this. On low setting on our flame. When was the last time you guys made some salsa? Let me know in the comment section. And do you guys prefer either green or red? Which is your favorite? sharing his almond joys that his um Rocky blessed him for Valentine's Day. He got lots of treats and almond joy we are snacking on. These are so good. I remember always eating these when I was younger, when I was smaller. These are my favorite. But I don't usually buy them now. I don't know why I don't. I should because they are so good. So good. Let me know what kind of um, is your favorite candy. I love to know, to get to know you guys better. Thank you for all my new subscribers. I'm so happy that you guys are here with us on our YouTube family. And thank you for blessing me with your guys' uh, nice. Uh, kind comments and they mean so much to me my friends and it's already picking up that color that we like to see almost ready to toss in the blender I'm going to have to add some chile de árbol just because of the serranos. It's few for all these little uh, milpero tomatillos. Because we don't want it to be sour or anything like that.
this is my little pantry, uh, my container for my chile secos. And this is the, the chile arbol. This is the good stuff, my friends. This right here. And chile arbol is kind of more on the spicier. So be careful when, if you haven't used it before, be careful porque it, it is more on the spicier. And this, when we are roasting it, we don't want it to, uh, to for too long because if not, it gets um, agrio, like sour. So, nomás pas una pasadita, just like a little, a little bit, and then remove it. Also, too, my friends, I want to be making, I'm going to be making some agua de melon because um, I bought a melon at the flea market. I shared it with you guys in a previous video, and um, I don't want it to go bad, to go to waste. Uh, because we've been stacking on here and there, but like I said, it was a big one. So I'm going to use some para hacer agua fresca. Watermelon, uh, not watermelon, excuse me. Um, melon water. That should be good already. I'm going to try chilitos. Spice smells good. When chile, so we're gonna add some water. I see. Add some salt. I cannot find my cumin. Usually, I like to add my cumin to this. And then we're going to see. I'm going to put some cilantro. I was forgetting the best part. And here we go. Yes, my friends. I found my cumin. I was kind of heartbroken there for a little bit. Porque I like the cumin. And it gives it a different flavor. So I'll just go ahead and blend it again. Mmm. Delicious, my friends. Sabroso, sabroso. Ooh. Look at that, my friends. Rich. Creamy, delicious for some tacos, um, you name it. Add some fresh salsa for us here for the week. I know my family is going to enjoy that. beautiful bien delicioso and then the rest of this I'm just going to add it here because we'll probably end up eating it in a bit like some chips or something like that lo que sobró what was left ok my friends time to make the agua de melon I'm going to put some in here don't worry because I just washed this very very good very well con jabón y con agua caliente para que el sabor de la salsa no, no esté ahí presente y luego le voy a echar agua poca Así. Okay, vamos a echar Ok, 
So, vamos a echar un chorrito, a little drop of this vainilla. Así. Le vamos a echar poquita canela. Some cinnamon. Así. Y luego le vamos a blend. But it's so worth it porque esta agua bien delicious. So satisfying. Repeat. So my friends, you can see no salió mucho. A lot didn't come out. We're going to add some water now. But it's perfect because we don't want it to go to waste the other way it was so we're going to add tres these three cups sorry it's two cups i don't got my my glasses on so we're just going to do this this much and then we're just going to add the sugar okay my friends i got my sugar out here then vamos a try let's see This much of sugar. Let's try it first. You can also add lechera uh, to this, but I don't have it at hand, so I'm just gonna. Sugar's fine, just like this. What is it like condensed milk? You can also add to this if you want it more creamier. But like I don't have it, I'm just making it like this. Let's see. Mmm. Perfect. No more. No more sugar. Así mero está bien rico. Now, there is la tapadera. And for now, I'm just going to serve me some in here. I'll be back with some ice. So now I'm back with the ice, with the yellow. Vamos a enjoy this aguita de melon. Cheers, my friends. Mmm, bien rico. Add the vanilla, la canela. Takes it to a different level, my friends. Let me know if you guys do agua de melon. ¿Qué le echan ustedes? What do you guys put in your guys' water of uh, melon? Perfect, like for the summer, spring. Oh my goodness. ¿Qué soda ni qué soda como yo? Ay, Dios. Bien buena. So now we got to work on getting our cornbread ready for dinner and the chili beans luckily i got pinto beans already cooked i'm just going to be doing the carne molida so my friends this is what i got going on in my uh, back behind the scenes 
todo mis trajes, my dirty dishes, which is fine. No worry, we're gonna take care of that. But first, we're gonna get a take care of what we need to, which is dinner, my friends. This right here is all clean, but just these are the dishes I've been using. They're gonna be put away, pero. Yeah, um, luckily I got pinto beans already in my fridge. I'm just going to be putting the ground beef and um, I like to add tomato to the chili beans and cornbread. Let me know what you guys are having for dinner. Hi, my friends. Ya tengo la carne molida, the ground beef meat. We're going to put it in this pot. Let this meat brown up somewhat. Luego, I'm going to be adding some of this of smoked paprika. I don't got my glasses on, my friends, but this. Some cumin. Like I said, I love to add cumin to everything that I really make. Sin miedo, sin miedo. We're going to do the onion powder. Just like that. The garlic, sal, garlic salt. Then here I'm going to be adding some tomate. I like fresh tomatoes on mine. Chili bean and some white onion. Just like that. Oh my goodness. I love chile beans. A logo with cornbread. Woo. Moverle poquito. When was the last time you guys had chile beans, my friends? And I got my pinto beans right here. Ready, meeting. That's why I always like to have pinto beans because. Even just having pinto beans um, on those busy days, you really, and you don't have time to cook or whatever, miren, sacan sus frijoles, refried beans, or just like this. Y listo, feliz. Bien, ya le voy a echar aquí, miren. Los, los frijoles. Well, might as well everything, because I want that, um, that flavor of the frijoles. Just like that. There we go. And the masaki, we stir it. They're going to be so good. Just like that. I got these chili packets. Vamos a estar echando. Nice. Dos paquetitos here. Put it on low, low flame. How is it in flavor? Mm -hmm. Let's add some, some pepper. And there we go, my friends. Perfect. We're going to come back to it in a bit. And I won't add no more water because I kind of want it chunkier. Because usually I like mine more on the runnier. But today... I want it chunky like this and this is what they're looking like so delicious it smells so good in here now to make our cornbread so here are the boxes of corn muffin mix my friends and I'm just looking here at the directions and it's asking for milk and I just remember that I did not buy milk I'm not going to go to the grocery store again because I've been out and about most of my day. So I'm, <laughs> I'm really not in the mood of going out. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it with water. Hopefully it'll taste good. 
I've never made it that way. I always make it what it asks. But today, we're just going to have to go with the milk. Hopefully, crossing my fingers, it tastes good. So, um, yeah, friends, this is it. We are getting closer to finishing up dinner and this video, my friends. Alrighty, we got our bowl here and our mixer. There goes one. And two. Does that ever occur to you guys, my friends, when you are looking forward to a specific meal? And you're going to about to sit down and start working on it and realize you don't have one main ingredient and does it ruin it for you <laughs> i just go along with it like i am here kind of bummed out but um lord willing it tastes as good and here is the uh, eggs needs two of them and we are going to be adding the one third of water because we don't have the milk Alrighty, there's the two eggs Here's one. I need to get the second one. And here. I'm going to do this. You guys hear my dog in the back? He is barking. I don't know at who or what, why. And there we go. Okay, my friends, I got my bakeware already. Gonna, and I'm doing it as I'm sitting here, trying to rest a little. Keep some weight off my feet. I'm just kind of nervous because, like I said, I have never used with water, but um, I don't want to go out there again. <laughs> I need to scrape some of that onto this. And there it is, my friends. Just got out of the oven. I'm gonna butter, butter it up right here. what the chili beans are looking like will look like now to plate it all up and there we go put my cornbread I got some cheese here I'm going to be putting some sour cream We're going to top it off with some parsley. And that's what's for dinner, my friends. For tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video, my friends. God bless you. And we will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like this kind of content and it's your first time here, my friends. Bye.